Well, well, well. If it isn't another day of me waking up inexplicably pissed at the world, pissed at myself, and just with a generally stinky attitude about me. I know that a trip to the gym or a brisk walk will probably turn my whole day around, but honestly, I don't know if I even want to feel better. of workout motivation, I made this video for you. I'm sharing motivational tips and a full body workout. Good freaking morning. Is it a good morning? It's pretty deep into PMS land right now, so I've been feeling pretty rude. I've been feeling pretty rude and Blazy and in pain and uncomfortable. I put these pigtails in to cheer myself up and I haven't been working out, but I also know how much better some kind of workout will make me feel. But it's hard because you've lost your momentum, but you wanna, you're ready to push through it. I'm gonna start off with the number one cheat code, which is to bring a buddy. Who's it gonna be? It just takes some time. I am not a fitness professional. I'm just here to motivate you and be your workout buddy when everything is terrible. I'm feeling like trash. I'm feeling like trash. When I'm having trouble motivating, my best advice is to make it a social event. Reach out to that one person who always cheers you up. It just takes some time to build. Um, let's align ourselves aesthetically. What is symmetrical? If it's not symmetrical, oh my god, we're matching! I know. Okay. <laughs> well, this is not symmetrical. Alright, we're we'll doing some jumping here. Okay. We're matching! I can't remember. It's pretty clear. It's pretty look, nice. Look, look at, align yourself oh. symmetrically or I will kill you. Okay. Okay, cool. And we go. I can't make it down. I can't make it down. So get down to seat and jump around. Jump around. Jump around. Jump around. <laughs> Heart rate, up. One thing I've noticed about myself is that if I'm feeling disconnected from the world and from my people, it's really hard to care about motivating to do anything else. So reconnecting with your people can be a really important first step to getting back on track with any of your goals. My brother Luke is the ideal workout buddy. Let's wait, wait, wait for me. Luke is a diver. He dove competitively for 11 years, won his D1 conference championship on three meter springboard, and has been trained by some of the best coaches in the world. And this man knows about overcoming obstacles. He once hit his head on the diving board at NCAAs, landing unconscious in the water. A traumatizing experience that could literally kill you or make you never want to dive again. But he overcame the fear and continued to train. Another time, he broke his toe while warming up for a competition, then continued to dive with a broken bone and took home the first place trophy. When you Google search badass bitch, it's just a bunch of pictures of Luke. But what makes Luke the ideal workout buddy is that he makes me feel hopeful when I'm low and he makes me laugh. Don't neglect your playlist. Hype music is a non-negotiable for me, even if it means that I can't monetize this video. Music is the fastest cheat code for changing your mood. I'll link my playlist below. Look at this. Look at this right now. Luke's phone. 195 unopened texts. I'm not a great communicator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't don't open them. Don't it's too late now. Don't. <laughs> you feel like you want to just give up. But you gotta search for you. Try to find that inner strength and just pull that shit out of you. And get that motivation to not give up and not be a quitter. So I 
I collapse, I'm spilling these raps long as you fill them to the day that I drop. You'll never say that I'm not killing them. By the way, all the workout exercises I'm doing here are ideas I got from the Copilot app, which is an app I talked about in my last exercise video long before they were ever a sponsor. It's my favorite fitness platform for staying consistent with my workouts because Copilot was basically the key to me getting out of one of the biggest fitness ruts in my life when I had a surgery to fix my torn meniscus. The truth is ultimately, this is the truth, ultimately at my core, I am a lazy person who just has very big dreams. And I have stuck with Copilot because it takes all the unnecessary work out of the workout. And that is why I asked them to be a sponsor for today's video. Woo, baby! That's a lot. Okay. Oh, I know, man, I I'm just sure I thought we were just extracting a sweet pose. Let's see if we can turn around at the same time and high five. Okay, ready? Don't hit me in the face. All right. Three, two, one. Let's make sure the butt's in the cam. Okay, ready? Butt cam. Butt cam. Oh, girls, just now listen, the long and short of it is I have used just about every fitness app out there. <laughs> and yes, Copilot syncs to your smartwatch. It outlines all the workouts and explanations for you, but there are two main things that make Copilot very different from other apps, in my opinion. And that is consistency and personalization. Okay, let's chat. Scram! Okay. Let's just do... Consistency is key because anybody can claim to offer you the perfect workout plan, but it's only the perfect plan if it's a plan you can stick to. Oh my word. Lord, I'm high. Will you actually do it? Will you actually stay consistent? If you can't stay consistent with it, then it is not a good workout. Like, isn't it a total fallacy that there's like upper ab and lower ab? Isn't uh -huh. that like a total lie? Uh -huh. It's just like an ab. Mm -hmm. Over 75% of co-pilot clients continue to work out after 100 days. This is a tough one. This is a tough ab one. Oh, which means co-pilot yeah. clients are nine times you more successful at sticking to their goals, okay? Like the These are very good odds. No dick -a -dick, no doubt. That's a good one. That is a good one. But what made Copilot really worth a try, in my mind, is the fact that it's not just an app, but you were paired up with your own personal coach, like a, a literal human person. My coach's name is Jill. She's the best. We would video chat to create a personalized fitness plan for my goals. We can send chat messages throughout the week, like basically whatever. Wait up, hold on. I told her I was recovering from knee surgery and she gave me exercises to support that. When I told her I didn't know how to use this one weird machine at the gym, she explained how to use it. She's a, she's an angel. By no means average, it's on when she's got to have it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Good. Ooh. Take a little dance. <laughs> on weeks when I don't want to use gym equipment, then she just gives me a fitness plan that doesn't use gym equipment. When she asked about my nutrition goals, I said, girl, please. I am recovering from an eating disorder and I don't want to talk about diets. She said, cool. And she just like recommended a book on intuitive eating that she thought I would enjoy. And it's basically like that act alone was the most caring thing anyone's ever done for me. But the whole point, like the whole point is that fitness does not need to look a certain way. I like to lift weights and use machines to go to the gym, yes, but lots of people don't. You can use the Copilot app for whatever you want. Some days I just want to run outside. Some days I want to be in the gym, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's just about working with what's available to you, tailoring your workout to you. That's the whole freaking point. Thunder, feel the thunder. Fitness shouldn't be something that you hold your breath 
and just like tolerate for a condensed period of time while you try to fit into your jeans. It should be something that you can live with long term. The same way that you want to have friendships that support you long term. Exercise is another relationship. Let's let it be one that lifts you up. Like any other relationship, let's not make it an abusive one. Luke, are you well? Oh, yeah. Are you well? Really, really well. So the other thing I was drawn to with Copilot Sweet potato. is that it offers accountability. Yes, like there's a human person, but it's accountability without negativity or pressure. I cannot stand the boot camp mentality. I cannot stand the like, get tough and just do it and you can tell, I cannot. Excuse me, I don't need help learning how to abuse myself. I actually already know how to do that very well. I'm very good at it. I, I need help learning how to support myself. Wow. It's hard. Put the weight down, it's a lot. What the hell? You don't need to do it. I gotta make it easy. Yeah, I don't want the weight. We've all been in a place where we feel tired, low, and unmotivated. Maybe you're in a rut right now. Frankly, I'm in a little mini rut of my own while filming this. Into a place times when I'm lying in bed just to get it all out what's in my head. And I, I am feeling a little peculiar. Into a week in the morning and I step outside and I take a deep breath. Whether you're in a little mini rut or you're in a much bigger one, get yourself a workout buddy. Copilot has been that workout buddy for me. There's a link in the description of this video. It's go.mycopilot.com slash Caroline Winkler. You can click that to get a free trial with your own expert fitness and health coach. All you need is a plan that fits your life and most importantly, that fits your interests. I believe in you. What's good? Hey. Did you eat before coming? I brought you a granola bar. Oh, you sweet. I did have a little everything bagel. Why do they call it everything though? Is it everything on it? Because you've got all the kind of sprinkles. Everything though? Everything? <laughs> That's not true. Ooh. This is bad. This is bad. Oh my god. <laughs> and remember, when you're winded, it's just time for a dance break. college athlete, professional diver, general strong person. Do you ever fall out of like a workout oh, yeah. routine? You ever get in a rut? Every day. Every day? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you start working out and it's like really fun and really exciting. You start seeing like gains and like you get all this motivation from it. And then inevitably at a certain point that dwindles. Aside from like the health benefits, like doing something that you don't want to do and doing it anyway because you know it's good for you just does so much good stuff for your brain and just knowing that like I don't want to go to the gym at all but if I do I will feel so good about myself like you never feel bad about yourself for doing something that you didn't want to do and doing it like it's always feels good if you can like be your own parent right and get yourself to go anyway there's like an extra level of confidence and pride in yourself you're like yeah I take care of me right like if you take everything away everything you'd like We've got this vessel, we've got this body. When I find myself in like the middle of the day, I'm just like, wow, I don't want to do anything, but like I know I should. Just like going to the gym and like working on this thing I have, just a little bit, it just gets you back on track for like the right way to handle your life, you know? You can't think your way out of like a bad mood often. You need to you need to use your body and then and be physical and then through that 
your brain will follow. Wow, so true. You can't think your way out of the bad mood. You're probably in that bad mood because of your thinking. Exactly. Bitch. It's crazy. Yeah. We're all struggling, at least a little bit, and I'm still messing up quite a bit. But wellness isn't about stripping yourself of struggle or holding your breath for some ever-retreating day when everything is solved and I no longer make mistakes. It's about finding strongholds even in the struggle, in the mistakes, and finding that place or those people who ground you. Someday you wish upon a star Wake up where the clouds are far behind Be where trouble melts like lemon drops High above the chimney top That's where you find me Oh, somewhere over the rainbow Bluebirds fly Oh,